Okay, so what I got is some of these uh, mini little meters and uh, I extended the leads. So we've got lugs on the ends here and here. And uh, these things read three and a half volts to um, 30 volts. And you could hook them up to just about anything you want. And so I decided to hook them up to the engine. So they're pretty simple to wire in. You gotta hook the ground to a ground connection. And you've gotta cook the uh, plus lead to whatever it is you wanna measure. So I put four on the engine right now just to see how they hold up. They're waterproof and they're pretty inexpensive. And so I've got one over here on the main power to the engine. I've got one here on the ignition. I've got one over here on the fuel pump and one over here on the glow plugs. And the glow plugs is hooked up right here and right here on this uh, circuit breaker I have the power for the um, main voltage coming in. And then on this bolt right here on the back, it's a little hard to see, but there's a lug I put on and that's the ground. So all the, all the meters grounds go here. And then over here, we have one on the fuel pump. So the fuel pump is just teed in line with the fuel pump power. And they're different colors. So we get the blue one, which shows that you have power on at the main breaker coming up to the engine. And this one will be green, and this will show that we have the fuel pump running. And when we're going to start the engine up, this one will be red and this one will be red. So we have glow, power, glow plug power and we have the ignition uh, voltage coming back. So with those, you can kind of see what's going on all the time. And uh, they don't draw much power, so no need to put them on uh, switches or anything. They just operate when the engine's on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the engine. And you can see right now that I've got one meter on right here. It's reading 13.4 volts. And so what I've done now is I've turned the key. And you can see the green is uh, blinking in the back, but not ready to start yet. I'm now pushing the preheat button. And we can see the glow plugs and the, initial, the uh, ignition meters starting. So what we're doing now is we're hooking up the glow plugs to the meter system. But before we do that, I think I'll take it apart and clean it. So what I've got is there's this uh, bar right here. And what this does is from this wire, this provides power to the glow plugs here, here, and here. And sometimes it gets corroded over the winter or during the summer. So I'm going to take this bar off and just clean it up. And I'm going to clean up all the bolts and nuts on the on the glow plugs and make sure everything is uh, ready and uh, clean and, and good to go. Okay, so what I've got is all the meters, they go to a common ground right here. So I just use this bolt and it connects to ground. And I got this lug on it, I gotta tighten it up. And I got one of the wires going here. This is power, so I've got power on this one. That one will be always on. And I've got another one over here. I've got this little T connection in line right here. So this is the fuel pump uh, supply line, and this is the power into the fuel pump. And I just made up this little T jumper, so it connects the two. And then this is the this is the one that goes over to the meter. And I'm going to mount the meter in a minute. And what I've done over here is I've taken this off. This is the uh, connection between the glow plugs. And you can see here's one glow plug, here's another, here's another. And I've cleaned this all up so all the connections are nice and bright and shiny. And to do that, just use a Dremel tool with a little wire brush on it. And you can turn this on and uh, clean all the, all the connections up. And then the next thing which I've done is I've added in a wire here, which I'm going to put right on the end. So I'm Glow plugs are going to get fed over here, but I'm going to measure the uh, the voltage over here. So we'll be able to see on the glow plug meter what the voltage is at the uh, at the far end. So that ought to be pretty good. 
So I got one more which we're going to put on the starter probably, or maybe on the uh, on the solenoid. I haven't decided yet. And we'll see how they work.